sponsored by Executive Homes. Well, I have our Doppler turned up to real sensitive uh, mode, and you can see it's trying to depict a few snow flurries uh, falling from the clouds. A lot of this not even reached the ground. So here's so dry here that any precip that's falling has been evaporating, but maybe one or two flakes could move on through. Tomorrow night, slightly different story, slightly more moisture tries to move in. So this is at 4 o'clock tomorrow. So about 23 hours from now, we're going to be tracking this disturbance out west and it's going to try to push some, you know, maybe some light snow in the area uh, mixed in with some rain showers down south. As you notice, temperatures will be slow to fall to around freezing and potentially hitting that around 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So until that time, slightly above freezing and then dropping down to around 32 degrees by 10 to 11 o'clock tomorrow as some very, very light snow tries to move into the area and it will be light accumulations. Not a whole lot further west. You travel the higher probability of seeing accumulating snowfall from Oklahoma City down the southwestern portion of the state Tulsa. I mean, we're going to be really hard pressed to get to an inch of snow, but it's possible to see some very, very light accumulation on grassy surfaces, uh, very similar to that type of system we saw a couple weeks ago where it just created enough on some of the grassy surfaces to notice that it did snow for a little time. So that's something we'll be watching again 24 hours from now, not expecting much in the way of travel issues. So if you have travel plans tomorrow evening, of course, you always want to take extra caution in time precepts falling, but this should not be a huge ordeal and kids kids wanting a snow day. You're going to have to wait, but I've got some good news. If you want to have a snow day, that is next week as we start to finally see a pattern change where we have the potential for more rain and thunderstorms in the area. And if cold air can get involved soon enough, we could see some wintry precip as well. And that would be next Wednesday, Thursday. So thunderstorms, wintry precip, all sorts of crazy weather possible next week. Still eight days away, but we start to see right now in the long range modeling the change in weather patterns. And we are looking for above normal precip to return to the area as we head into the month of February. So some big changes on the way for us here in eastern Oklahoma. Meanwhile, the temperature trend the next seven days, you can see that temps are going to be cold tomorrow. Upper 30s below normal, which is 50 still below th uh, normal on Thursday and Friday. We bounce above normal and actually it gets quite nice for Saturday, Sunday and a Monday and then turning colder again next Tuesday and a Wednesday as the storm system nears and brings us a chance for rain, maybe some storms, maybe some wintry precip by the middle of next week. 58 for your Saturday, 60 on Sunday. A good looking forecast outside right now. Wade's RV weather camera network. It is calm. It is cold and we're going to be cold tomorrow. 39 with a chance for some snow showers by late in the evening that might linger into early Thursday morning, low around 31 and then warmer for the weekend. And then there goes the roller coaster weather, some thunderstorms, colder temperatures, maybe some wintry precip by the middle of next week with some colder weather to wrap up next week as well. So busy 10 day, especially next week.